going to do is we are going to order the numbers from least to greatest. But on another one, we will do greatest to least. Today we're going to go do, we're going to do from least to greatest. From little to big. The first thing that I need to do is draw my chart. The chart will help me to organize the numbers and it will help me to compare them. I put my hundreds, tens, and ones. I have three numbers that I need to compare, so I'm going to start plugging them into the chart. My first number is what? 256. My second number is what? 243. My third number is 252. Does everybody understand why I plugged it in like that and how I plugged it in like that? Yes. Very good. Now that I have it in the chart, I can compare them. The first section that I need to look at is which section? Hundreds. Because that will tell me automatically if I have a, a greater one or a least one or a smaller one. What do you notice about the hundreds? They are all the same. So that's not going to help me. If they're all the same, then that doesn't tell me if one is greater or one is least. So I'm going to put the equal here, or E same sign, they're the same. When that happens, what do I do next? I have to go to the tens place. So I'm going to take and I'm going to show that I'm jumping to the tens place. By the way, don't forget to go ahead and draw your line. And I know that I need to have three dots. This is going to be one dot, two dot, and three dot. It's not really a dot, but you know what I mean. All right, let's jump over to the tens. What do we notice here? We have five, four, and five. Oh, no. What do you notice? Five and five are the same. Hmm. So then what does that mean about this number? It's the least. Because four, is it greater or less than five? So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this number. And that number is going to go over here on the least side because it has four tens not five ten bars so you would plug in here 243 and I'm going to cross out this number because it's already on my number line I'm done with that one and I'm going to put an L next to it because I know that is the least one Correct? Yes. Good. I'm glad to get rid of that. Because then I now I only have to compare two more numbers. Now, does 5 and 5 help me? No. So what do I have to do now? Well, now I have to jump over to the 1. And, oh, so these are the same. So then we have, we're comparing, we have 6 and 2. 
well, if this is the smallest one, and then th which one is greater here? Six or two? Six. So six is greater. Where would it go if this was the greatest one? Would it go here in the middle or over here on the greatest? The greatest. Right, so this number, I know that it is the greatest because it's greater than two. Six is greater than two. So this number right here is going to be plugged over here into the greatest. 256. And I'm going to cross it out because I'm done with that number. The middle number is going to be which one? 252. So, if I look at my number line, it is in order from least to greatest. What? 243, 4 10 bars, 252, 256. I know that this is the greatest number because 6 units is more than 2 units. And 5 10 bars is more than 4 10 bars. Do we understand how and why we got this? Yes. Perfect. Now, if you are watching and you want a little extra uh, work at home, please try this one at home. Let me, here we go. 153. 167, 151. Do this at home if you want extra practice. Do your chart, your number line. Do it from least to greatest. Good luck and thank you.